Hello, welcome to Lady Scorpius Tarot. I'm your host, Lady Scorpius. Today we've been for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of September 2022. Happy early birthday, Virgo. This would be for y'all, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of September 2022. I think I said it already. <laughs> Please take the messages that resonate. Leave the message behind if they do not resonate. And if you'd like to see what's going on with you, check out my website for personal reading, LadyScorpiusTarot.com, as well as contact me on my tarot line. For phone reading, all information will be in the description box below. You guys, check out my products. Check out my subscriptions on my website as well. I'm going to be revamping my website really soon, so stay tuned for that. So, once again, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, September 2022. Happy birthday. Let's get into it and see what's going on for this month. This will be a three-card general reading. We're going to be using my Oracle deck by me, the Flower Child Oracle, and we're going to be clarifying using tarot, okay? All right, let's see what's popping for my Virgo. All right. Universal Spirit, Angels, Ascending Guys, God, God, please give me messages from my Virgo. So I'm revising Venus for the month of September 2022. What is happening for my Virgo for the month of September 2022? What is coming towards them? What is flowing in? What is flowing out of their life? I actually get messages I love, like clarity for my Virgo. So I'm revising Venus. 50 months of September 2022. Three cards only, Spirit. What message do you have for my Virgos? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of September 2022. What message do you have for my Virgos? Ooh, okay. Give me one more card for my Virgos. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of September 2022. All right, so I feel like this reading will be kind of specific only for a small group of you guys. But the overall energy we have is lack of communication, okay? You guys could be experiencing a lack of communication, maybe during retrograde season. Retrograde, well, it doesn't have to be, but I do feel like some of you guys could feel like a lack of communication with a person that's around you. And this can be your, your parents, this can be your significant other, your children, your friends, take what resonate, your coworkers, your boss, you know, whatever. I just feel like it could be a lack of communication surrounding you and a person or a situation and it's bothering you, okay? And some of you guys need to speak up for the month of September and really stand your ground and speak your truth with integrity, okay? The first card we have is legal matters. The second card we have is narcissists. And then the third card we have is balance, okay? So some of you guys could be involved with a narcissist. Maybe some of you guys are narcissists. Take what resonates. But I do feel like you could be dealing with a narcissist. And this could be pertaining to some type of legal issues. Maybe court order, court issues. I'm here. some of you guys going to the court for the month of September dealing with a fucking narcissist. And you're trying to balance out this situation. It was a lack of communication surrounding this legal issue, um, this court issue. And you guys are trying to balance it out. It could be financial things. Maybe you guys will get like some type of payout, a legal payout, a lawsuit, something that was owed to you. Maybe someone is taking you to court, Virgo. Take what resonates. But I do feel like it needs to be a balance this month. Spirits want you to stay balanced, stay away from any narcissistic energies, anybody that's trying to project onto you, I mean, I'm not Scorpio, project onto you, Virgo. Okay. Um, some of you guys, this could be a person that's new that just entered your life. Um, for the ones that's out here dating, but let's go ahead and check it out and see what's going on. Pretty month of September, Universal Spirit. Clarify legal matters for my Virgo, Sun, Rising, and Venus. What is surrounding legal matters? Why is legal matters here for Virgo? Sun, Rising, and Venus for September 2022. Ooh, Spirit is saying if kind of came in like this. Some of you guys could be going to court, like I said, this month. Could be dealing with legal issues and you could be feeling a little unbalanced or unsure if things are going to work out in your favor. Spirit is saying have faith and have strength that you will overcome these obstacles. As you can see, she's gracefully taming this lion, okay? She's gracefully taming this lion. So I feel like you guys will need to use your intuition, be smart, be graceful, um, take control of the matter and things will work out in your favor for the ones that's asking for clarification, all right? Some of you guys will be getting a strong lawyer as well. We need to get a strong lawyer if you want to beat this case for the small group of you guys. If you're up against a tough, you know, a tough um, judge, okay? Clarify legal matters for, um, why is legal matters here for Virgo? Some we rise in Venus for September 2022, Spirit. Oof, we have the Tower card, Scorpio energy. Something suddenly happened. It was a shocking 
something shocking happened, Virgo. I don't know what this is, okay? But I know that something suddenly happened, okay? It could have been maybe you could have got suddenly hit with a lawsuit or suddenly hit with some type of... Somebody could have served you, you know, suddenly. Could have been some sudden things that shook up the foundation of your life and now you got to go to court, okay? It could be surrounding your your foundation. Maybe some of you guys are going to rent court, mortgage court. I'm hearing that for some of you guys. Uh, for others of you, it's like something suddenly happened and it rocked the foundation. It was a shock and surprise. And it's like now you're going to have to find a strength to deal with it. And it could be surrounding legal issues. Clarify about a tower card. Ooh. Two major arcana, so this is a serious thing, okay? Clarify the tower card for Virgo. Why is it here for legal matters for September 2022? Why is the tower card here clarifying legal matters? Yeah, nine of pentacles. Towards Virgo Capricorn, for some of you guys, this could be surrounding money, your foundation, your home. Um, we have the nine of pentacles. It could be surrounding maybe somebody you split yourself with. Some of you guys could be, like, uh, getting a divorce, um, trying to fight for maybe your home, the home, like maybe split up the assets for some of you guys. Maybe something happened at your home and you're trying to get that payout. We have the nine of pentacles here. For some of you guys, you will win this court case, okay? Because this is a payout, nine of pentacles. The, the, the highest you can go is ten. So this is it's going to work in your favor. So some of you guys, it could be a, sh a sudden shocker that, you know, this short court shit is going to work in your favor and you're going to get a good payout, okay? You're going to be sitting on a pretty penny for some of you guys, okay? So stay balanced with that. Stay, stay true. Stay balanced. Don't stress yourself out about it. You know, right? Some of you guys are needing to save your money, maybe, as well, for this court this court date. Clarify narcissists. Why is narcissists here for my Virgos? Some of you guys Venus. Oof. We have the Prince of Pentacles. Some of you guys could be a younger Earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn. Maybe you're younger than them, but this can definitely be an Earth sign that you're dealing with. Um, could be a younger. For some of you guys, it could be your son, your child, younger virgin. Because the prince is young, maybe mid-20s, you know, mid to early 20s. We have the emperor card. It's like a father figure. So this is like um, Aries or Taurus, okay? And I feel like for some of you guys, you can have an Aries or Taurus. It doesn't have to be. It could be your father that you feel like your father's a narcissist. Maybe they're not helping you out financially, Virgo. Um, maybe you can have a son that's a uh, narcissist for some of you guys that got children. Um, if not, you could just be dealing with a person that's a narcissist. They want to control everything, but they don't want to help out financially or they, they, they give just a little bit. Um, they're not as stable as they want to be. Like they have ambition, they have drive, but I feel like they're kind of like self-centered more about themselves. Maybe have a little bit to offer, but don't give too much. Um, the emperor, like I said, is a person that likes to control and dominate like things their way or no way. The emperor is very wise though. They have a lot of experience, but they can be very cold as well. Let me never clarify for the narcissist. Why is narcissist here for my Virgo? Some of you guys are the Alright. Yeah, we have the two of pentacles. Earth sign towards Earth Capricorn. Some of you guys, you could be juggling. You could be doing for Virgo. I mean, Earth sign or Aries. Okay. Towards Earth Capricorn, they could be juggling you. Or they can feel like you're juggling too much. Maybe they want to control things. They want things to be your way. Maybe they got you juggling too fucking much. And they're coming off narcissistic, like everything's about them, okay? Um, you you could be trying to even like fight off competition or fight off the disagreements, the family members, the different opinions, you know, you can feel like it's a competition or a battle. All right. Clarify narcissist for Virgo. We have the lovers card and the hangman. Some of you guys are them for Pisces or Gemini. Okay, this is somebody that you are actually in love with or have like a high a spiritual connection with or like a deep deep love soul connection i feel like you're trying to also see them from a different standpoint or a different light but uh spirit is want you to see things for what it is this person is a narcissist okay they only they like to control things they want you to juggle so much while they they give you pennies okay or they give you bare minimum um as far as investing to the connection the way you want them to the lovers card is a lot of love there for you guys both maybe you feel like it's a yin yang um, but I feel like also like it could be a choice between two lovers as well because we have the two of pentacles crossing the lovers card So some of you guys could have a choice between two lovers or the person you're dealing with could be juggling you and have a choice between you and another person Okay, um, and I feel like the hangman like I said you guys are in limbo right now surrounding this person with this connection It could be a lack of communication about what's going on Maybe you guys are keeping things to yourself trying to see things from a different perspective The spirit is saying right now with the five of swords being here you guys are feeling like trapped stuck confused um, mentally confused um can be feeling like some type of anxiety or 
depression or feeling weighed down mentally, okay? Um, some of you guys are just needing a break, needing peace, okay? Because you're, feel, like I said, once again, you're feeling emotionally, conf not emotionally, but mentally confused. Um, you can be in your head a lot. We have the Six of Swords. I got ringing in my ears, so this is confirmation for some of you guys. I have the Six of Swords, so some of you guys are needing to move away from feeling stuck, um, feeling juggled, feeling like you're dealing with a narcissist that only projects and controls upon you. You love this person, but with the Six of Wands, it's like you, you're needing to get victory elsewhere. Some of you guys live for Scorpio, um, Cancer and Pisces, Leo, Sagittarius. But I'm feeling like um, this person like just loves attention. Okay, or you can love the attention they give you. Um, but also I feel like this person could be could 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 be getting attention from elsewhere. Okay, let's just take what resonates. We have the lover's card here and the two of cups. So somebody got a choice between a soulmate and another person. And that's just what I'm seeing. If they don't have a choice between two people, it's like they're wanting to have that choice. Okay, they're wanting to be free and do whatever. Why they control with this narcissistic energy? You know, narcissists tend to be nice to everybody and strangers around you, but then they treat you, the person that loves them, like trash. Okay, or treat them like mean. And I feel like some of you guys can be dealing with a person that's like that. And we have the Ten of Wands here. Some of you guys are dealing with a fire sign. It's like you're wanting to put down a burden. You love this person. You see them as a soulmate. Um, but with the Six of Wands, you're wanting victory in your life. This person could be wanting too much attention or could be getting victory or attention elsewhere. And it's become a burden to you, okay? We have the five, King of Pentacles. So some of you guys are definitely dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Um, and this is about the home. You can live with this person for some of you guys. Um, you can work with this person for some of you guys. This could be a boss for some of you guys. Um, but for the most part, I'm feeling like it's somebody that you're romantically involved with, with the two of cups here, okay? Could be married to this person. If not, could live with each other, have some type of stable foundation. Or they could be wanting to come in with a foundation or offer for you. But I just feel like you're not willing to do that, okay? They could be wanting to add more or maybe add to the connection now. But it's like it's still like a juggle and you're just wanting peace, a peace of mind. All right, let's clarify balance, okay? That story's with somebody specific, okay? Clarify balance for my Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus for the month of September 2022. For the month of September, why is balance here for Virgo? Yeah, once again, the Seven of Wands popped right on now, and it came under narcissist. So a lot of you guys could feel like you're in competition or you're battling a lot right now. You got a lot of different people coming at you left and right, different things that you're trying to deal with. It can be coworkers, it can be family, friends, lovers, partnerships, family, you know, cousins, whatever. Um, I'm just feeling like you got a lot of competition right now or a lot of shit that you're trying to maintain. It's like you're having to be defensive. You're feeling like you need to fight people off you right now. Some of you guys could be feeling even guarded right now. Could be feeling a little blocked, a little stuck. Feeling like you're on a defense because you're feeling like you're trying to balance things out. There's a lack of communication. You guys feel like this thing is coming at you left and right. And it's like you're, you're, you're trying to keep your guard up, okay? Clarify balance for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of September 2022. Why is the balance card here in the Seven of Wands for Virgo? Clarify Seven of Wands for September 2022. Yeah, we can get the King of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be one of those, but you guys are definitely dealing with a person. I think this person is like a charmer. He's a lover boy. He's a charmer, but he definitely has you comp compete for that damn love. Okay, it's for a small group of you guys. Or it could be somebody that you're dealing with that wants you bad and passionate, but you have them competing for your love. Okay, I'm just feeling like somebody's feeling like they need to get a balance in here because it's like, I'm trying to give you all this passion. I'm trying to compete for you. I'm trying to come in strong, but there's a lot going on right now. So the situation needs to bring in balance. It needs to be balance brought into the situation, okay? Some of you guys know for King of Wands, that's like very passionate. Like I said, they like to hook up with you. They can be a player. They can be a charmer now. They'll be married. Let's see. Clarify the King of Wands for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Clarify on balance for September 2022. Okay. We got the High Priestess here. Some of you guys are needing to use your intuition this month about the King of Wands. Okay, this person could be hiding secrets. That's why you guys are feeling like it's something that's unbalanced and you're trying to bring the balance back. We have the King of Swords. We have the Empress card. And we have the Prince of Cups. Virgo, this could be you. Uh, maybe some of you guys got a younger Cancer sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. You might find out some truth about your son. For the ones that got a son, it could be a lack of communication about some things. You might find out this person, the truth about this shit or 
I don't know. I feel like the, the sun could be hiding something with the moon card, okay? And the truth will be revealed this month, okay? Could be some type of surprise also. Maybe that your sun is hiding from you and then you'll find out this month, okay? But I feel like for the most part, for some of you guys, let's take it back. That was for a small group of you guys. Let's take it back. For others of you who's trying to find a balance, it's like you need to use your intuition this month pertaining to this king of wands you may have a child with them children with them or they could you could find out some type of truth or secret that this person could have got somebody pregnant um or could have been involved with another person male or female we have the moon card some of you guys might find out that your partner might like the same sex or somebody that's close to you is dealing with the same sex take what resonates um, but I do feel like some of you guys are dealing with a younger water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, that's a little immature. It's like some type of secret that they're hiding from you, Virgo. Um, but you will find out the truth, or you're going to get the truth out, or somebody's going to come in telling you the truth about this person. And you're not going to want to balance it after this, or try to nurture this person anymore because of the secrets, and they hid something from you. But you're intuitive, you know something ain't right, you know this person's hiding something from you. And for some of you guys, I feel like it could be like... Op options of a people coming in you know that they could be dealing with or talking about you too <laughs> or you know just involved with let's see see i see so many different stories here so once again this is a general reading general reading it might not resonate might do clarify the king of swords for virgo some of and venus and wish fulfillment so somebody you may find out the truth that um somebody see you as, as a wish fulfillment or was a wish fulfillment for you to return to this person they was divinely hoping and guiding for some of you guys a small group of you guys that are mothers if you have a younger water sign they're actually they was wishing for you wishing upon a star no <laughs> they wish fulfillment was for you to come to them or for them to see you or for you to talk to them again or for them to see you again that's for a small group of you guys. If you haven't been talking to your son, there's been a lack of communication, or it's been on, off balance with your child. I see that for some of my mothers out there that has, like, you know, older son or mid-aged son. But for others of you, it could be the secret is that, you know, this person teaches you as a wish fulfillment. You know, they're divinely trying to manifest this. Or maybe you feel like this, Virgo, about this person, but you're not letting them know. But I do feel like the Nine of Cups here, this Cancer Pisces Scorpio does see you as a wish fulfillment. And, you know, I feel like things will happen in divine order with the star card. One person is wishing upon a star, wishing for y'all to come together, wishing for something to pan out, right? Okay? Because they see you as a person they can have a child with, as, you know, a nurturing woman, a mother. For the ones that's dealing with, like, water signs, okay? Because I see some of you guys definitely dealing with um, water signs and fire signs for this for this energy right here. Clarify the Prince of Cups. Why is the Prince of Cups here? Ooh, Chariot. Yeah, we have a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Younger Scorpio coming towards you, Virgo. They want to come in. We have Cancer here. You guys can be traveling towards the Cancer or going to see a younger water sign. Some of them are wanting you to come towards them or they want to come towards you or you're traveling towards them, okay? I do see some of you guys want to find some balance this month pertaining to this person. What a sign. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Okay, why is the moon card here? Let's see what secrets is here for, for September. Why is the moon card here for my Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Seven of Pentacles, okay. So somebody could be hiding like money. It could be some type of secrets about somebody needing some money or money is financial assistance. It could be a lack of. Maybe somebody's looking at the investment. Maybe they feel like they made a bad investment. Um, and they could be like feeling this internally and not really sharing it. But I feel like the person, this person will bring the truth to you, Virgo, about how they feel when you meet them. Uh, maybe some type of justice and needs to have some type of balance. Once again, we have justice and balance here. So balance will be restored. Balance will come in. This person will actually, like like I said, express how they feel or try to balance things out or end something that's just not feasible. Okay, I feel like some of you guys will be ending something too. That's You're cutting out the bullshit. You're cutting out the toxicity. You're cutting out the confusion. You're getting straight to the chase. Okay, so yeah, you guys are moving away from... A Scorpio Cancer Pisces for some of you guys because you felt emotionally confused or you felt like you, you had to leave this party because maybe you wanted more and this person just wasn't giving you exactly what you wanted, okay, Virgo? Or maybe this person is feeling emotionally confused with you. Um, maybe they feel like you left them behind, okay, um, and left the partnership behind. But I feel like you guys are working on your abundance, your finances. You're wanting somebody that you can grow with, build with, and you're focusing on your peace with the four swords. Some of you guys will be traveling away um, to somewhere that's tropical or somewhere that's hot, somewhere they got palm trees or whatever. Um, some of you guys can be going to a desert. I just feel like you take you guys are taking a break to relax your mind. Um, and this person could feel like you took a break away from them or traveled away from them in the partnership. And I feel like they want to rush in communication, rush in with communication. This could be a, um, 
water sign, earth sign, fire sign. It could be any sign, actually. But I do feel like some of you guys will be actually getting some rest and taking a break and just kind of focusing on your peace for the month of September. Um, it might even be taking a vacation for your birthday, okay? So, um, with your partner. For the ones that are still tied to a person. That's for a small group of you guys, okay? Um, maybe somebody's want to come in and take you out. Because I do see communication coming in. So... That's what I have for my um, Virgos. Let me know if it resonates. Leave a comment below. Stay balanced. Don't let nobody break from you. Don't let nobody come in with emotional confusion. Okay. Um, and yeah, go after your dreams. Go after your wish fulfillment. If you got legal issues going on, I feel like it definitely will work in your favor. Okay. So that's what I have for the month of September. I will see you guys next month. Peace.